When I first began my job, my goal was to enhance my productivity and keep my position. Unfortunately, the slow functioning of AutoCAD commands was frustrating my progress. I modified it three command shortcuts that took my skills to the next level. So it all started with the policies at the office where they uh, require us to first go to paper space, zoom extend our drawing and then close our drawing. These were too many steps. So then what I did is again I changed immediately this keyboard shortcut for the close command similar to the control S for the save command right. So how I did it was I opened the CUI for the customizer user interface in AutoCAD and then I went to the keyboard shortcuts over here. So I expanded those ones and found the shortcut keys. So over here what I did was create a new command by clicking the star icon and of course rename my command to close. Then I proceeded to change the macro string to Kill emote and zero because this will immediately switch between model to paper space. Then I proceeded to do a zoom extend and finally I proceeded to use the close command. So after I of course applied the changes, what I did is drag it to my keyboard shortcuts over here at the bottom and the reason why I did this is because the keyboard shortcut will take a preference starting from the bottom and all the way up then what I needed to do was go and click on the access keys to be able to assign my preferred keyboard shortcut. So the one that I assigned was the control shift Q and click OK. Once I proceeded to click apply and OK, what's gonna happen is that similarly to the control S for saving your drawing, I could now use my keyboard control shift Q to quickly go to paper space and save my drawing and close it. Of course, I could simply say yes. And that way I created one of my first awesome keyboard shortcuts that immediately improved my productivity in AutoCAD. After changing my first keyboard shortcut, I found out a second command in AutoCAD that needed to change immediately because it was a pain to be typing this command over and over. So what I did to change shortcut for this command was to go and use the AI edit cursed file and this will basically edit file in the AutoCAD program and the file that we wanted to edit was the ACAT PGP. So that the next thing that I did to open again my ACAT PGP file inside the AutoCAD and over here we could see all of the different aliases for all of the commands that AutoCAD have currently. But the important part was when I went all the way down and found that we, the users, could define some command aliases or shortcuts too. So the way I did it was um, creating or copying a couple of these lines, right? And going underneath and pasted it. And that way I could quickly change some of these informations. For instance, I could, I, what I typed was my custom command shortcuts. And I could now assign a keyboard shortcut for the command that I thought will immediately increase my productivity. And this command was the select similar yes this command basically didn't have any keyboard shortcut that's why it was 
important to assign it one so the keyboard shortcut that i assigned it was the ss for select similar so after this what i did was simply save this file right and then go over here in autocad and the extra step that i needed was to use the rainit command and basically this was a way to refresh this pgp file in autocad so once we did that we needed to check the file again and click ok so that way we could go ahead and select uh, any here anything here for this example and simply type the ss for select similar and we could quickly select all of our lights and in this specific example i wanted to change all of my lights from existing to new so i could quickly do that now using my new keyboard shortcut right so that was the second keyboard shortcut that immediately helped me to be more proactive working in autocad going back to our uh, acad pgp file for my third command that i realized was essential and this command was the t orient command and the keyboard shortcut that i used was the t o so after i did this of course i could save my file and again use the regenerate command to update or refresh my pgp file so after this i noticed of course that all of my text were rotated on my lighting so that was an easy step for me to use the my new shortcut to for my t orient command and i could simply select all of my lights and accept that and rotate them all at once for my best tips to improve your productivity I'll see you on this video.